Welcome back to my channel and I love and appreciate you for sticking around after that first video. If you're new, my name's Hilary Jubilee. Please like and subscribe to my channel below if you're into conscious creation and manifestation. Today's video is going to be about mental diet. So what is a mental diet? A mental diet is exercising discipline of your thoughts. We have about 6,000 thoughts per day, so you're not going to be able to monitor every single one of them, but you can do your very best to be aware of them, so you're going to start to be aware of them. But a mental diet is the foundation for conscious creation because your thoughts create. So you want to start paying attention to what's going on up here to shape and mold your world, your outer 3D world. I'm going to start with one of Neville Goddard's quotes. Everything in your world is produced by imagination. There isn't a thing that was not first imagined, yet when it becomes an objective fact, it seems so independent of your perception of it that you forget its origin and you do not realize it was produced by you. Essentially what that means is everything starts within. Your thoughts create. Everything that you see in the 3D started in the imagination. Before we get into the video, I do want to clarify a few things from my previous video. If you watched all the way to the end in my first video, thank you, I appreciate you. But there were some bloopers there at the end where I'm talking about the percentage of water. I mean, anyone can just Google that, but I just wanted to clear that up because clearly I, I'm i recording this on my phone. So um, I wasn't able to do a quick Google and apparently I don't know that off the top of my head, but our bodies are made up of 60% water. Just an irrelevant fact that I thought I should clear up. So with a mental diet, it's figuring out what you want to create. So with any conscious creation and manifestation, the first step is really to find out what it is you want. And you can see why there are things in your 3D reality or in your life that you dislike or you want to change. And guaranteed, there's something going on in your head that is holding that in place. An example of this is something that I've used in my life. So I'm going to give two examples today. The first detrimental phrase that I hear people say is, I'm broke, I'm too broke, I can't afford that. So this is related to your self-concept around money. What you need to realize is that you are creating with your thoughts and with your words. So when you say, I can't afford that, I'm too broke, those likely aren't things that you wanna create into your future. So you want to be flipping those. You want to stop and ask yourself if that is what you want to create more of. That's where your mental diet comes in. Your 3D reality is just a reflection of your past thoughts. If there's something in your 3D reality that you want to change, you need to go within and realize what your thoughts are running in the background on any given subject. I'm broke or I have anxiety. Those are two things that I used to say to myself and you need to cut those things out of your vocabulary if you want to change those things about yourself and about your life. If you're in that boat, if you're in the boat where you're, you never have enough money, you can't seem to like get enough to pay all your bills or you only have enough to pay your bills and you don't have enough left or you're going into the negative every before you get paid every two weeks, living paycheck to paycheck essentially, then you need to change what's going on in your head first. Uh, regardless of how much you make, if you don't change your mindset around money, it's not going to change. Since I found the law of assumption, I realized that I needed to change what was going on in my mind first to see a change without. So go within first. So to change that I'm broke mentality, you just need to flip it. So with anything, with I'm broke, I'm too anxious, I'm an anxious person, I have anxiety, you want to the first thing you need to do is stop saying those things. So stop saying them out loud and stop saying them in your head. It's even as a joke, you want to quit it because it's you're creating more of that, even if you're joking about it. So the first thing you're going to do is say, I always have more than enough money. I always have more than enough money. You just repeat that in your head. I can afford anything I want. I can buy anything I want. And to reduce my anxiety, I have not completely eliminated all anxiety, but I have definitely reduced it by quite a bit. And the way I did that was I said, I'm calm, I am at peace. I am calm, I am at peace. There's nothing serious going on here. I am calm, I am at peace. Once I started studying the law of assumption, it did reduce my anxiety immensely because I started saying these affirmations to myself and I realized that there's nothing serious going on here. So 
once you kind of grasp the concept that your 3D reality isn't actually real, you can take comfort in that. Everything seems less scary and important when you realize that your 3D reality is just a projection of your old thoughts. So if you've got something in your life that you don't like or you want to change, become aware of how you're thinking of that subject and flip the thought. Flip it to what you want to create instead. So that's essentially what a mental diet is. It's being aware of what's going on in your head and what thoughts are coming up. And if it's not something that you want to create more of, you need to be flipping it to the opposite or to whatever you want to create more of. Essentially, what you want to do is cut out any any thoughts or phrases that you're saying that are cutting you down. So we already talked about the money mindset. You need to stop saying I'm broke. You're creating more of I'm broke. And that is not something we want to do. We want to move up in life. You can say them to yourself in your head, which is called an affirmation, or you can also script out what you want to create. And I can make a separate video on that, but the mental diet is kind of key. The thoughts that are coming up, you're flipping them as they come up. This is not a quick fix. This is a rewiring of your brain. And you do feel a little bit crazy at the beginning because you're saying things that do not appear to be true. So you're, it's almost like you're lying to yourself. But the way I like to think of it is you're not lying to yourself. You're just stating something that is true in another reality. So you're going to shift into a reality where that is going to become true. I'm going to give another example of how my mental diet flipped something in my reality. So a few months ago, I was noticing a lot of roadkill on the roads when I would drive. I would see them everywhere. And I was just focused on these on this roadkill. I just kept on, I would bring it up to people. I would be like feeling horrible about it and focusing on it and just feeling sad about it. And just that's creating more of that. I'm focusing on the roadkill and I'm getting more roadkill, more and more and more and more roadkill. Like I don't want that. And then one day I was driving up the road and I witnessed a raccoon being hit by a car. The raccoon seemed like he was gonna be okay, but it was still pretty traumatic for me to watch. And then I just, something clicked and I was like, I'm creating this, I need to stop. I need to flip this ASAP because this is getting out of hand. So what I did is I started flipping my thoughts on this topic. So what I started saying to myself was, all animals in my reality are safe and healthy and the roads are always clear when I'm driving. I just started assuming that anything, anything that I would see on the road is just, it's a leaf, it's a stick, it's a piece of clothing, it's a piece of debris. I just started assuming that and I don't look too closely at it to find out. I just started keep, kept repeating that to myself, okay? All animals in my reality are safe and healthy and the roads are clear when I drive. So I just repeated those in my head whenever the topic came up about roadkill. Nope, we're pushing that away and we're saying our new affirmations about the topic. It was only a few weeks of doing that and now the roads are always clear when I'm driving. I just wanted to add this clip in. I'm just editing the video right now, as you can see. That's my cat, Feline. But I just wanted to add this clip in of what happened the day after I filmed this video. So as you just heard, I just explained that I was having an issue with roadkill, a little issue. And so obviously the roads had been clear for a long time after I had been affirming. Hi, Belene. Want to be in the video? So anyways, I just wanted to share what happened the day after I filmed that video. So like I said, the roads had been clear. And then obviously once I filmed that segment there, I'm reliving all of the roadkill and talking about things being in the road. So what happens the day after I filmed that video? The morning after I filmed it, I saw roadkill <laughs> after not seeing any for a while. And the most ridiculous thing happened. And I will say, I do realize me filming this clip is refocusing on things being in the road again, but this is too ironic not to share. And once I finish talking about it, I'm gonna go back to my 
roads are clear affirmations, but I just, this is pretty funny. So I just wanted to add it in. Later that day, I was stopped at a red light and the light turned green, but I heard a bunch of sirens. So I just stayed still at the, at the light and a fire truck came barreling around the corner and there was a fire hose dangling off the end of the truck and it came barreling around the corner and this fire hose is flailing around and you know, it's got metal pieces on it and it flailed, um, it came flying and it kind of went under all four corners of this car on the other side of the intersection. I tried to explain it to my friend. If there was a can on a, picture a can of corn or something or a can of beans on a countertop and a piece of string and you just drag the piece of string quickly underneath it and the can doesn't move but the string just goes right under it and then my friend kind of described it as a tablecloth with a bunch of dishes on it if you pull the tablecloth out really quickly and then the dishes don't move like that so the hose went under all four of the tires and it, it was just like boom, 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 like all the all the tires just the car didn't move the car was stop stopped at the red light and the hose just went under this car and then it got hooked on a sign and then it went flying and it landed all coiled in the road right in my way <laughs> and um so then and then after that so the it's in the middle of the road all coiled up and then after that two ambulances came behind the fire truck and they just kind of carefully drove over the hose and kept going and so then i start moving forward because i'm first in line and i'm like well i'm gonna have to freaking move this hose <laughs> so here i am i like pull over and put my hazards on and everybody just waited behind me and I got out of my car and lugged this giant fire hose off the road. I definitely created that. It's just so funny because I was just bringing my attention to things being in the road again and then this redonkulous thing happens. It's just a funny manifestation, but yeah, so it, it was very eventful, but I just thought I'd share that clip. And now back to the video. With the mental diet, like I said, it's not a quick fix. It is a lifestyle change. You are rewiring your brain. So your previous thoughts to this current moment are creating your reality. So you may start to flip your thoughts and you're gonna see things come up in your 3D that are opposing to your new affirmations. They are the old story still coming up. So because manifestation is not instant, it can be instant, but it's usually not. It usually takes a little bit of time for your new assumption to harden into fact. So you may see things still coming up from the old story. And what you do when that happens is you just ignore it as best you can. And you keep repeating the new affirmation, the new story to yourself. And if you persist in that, it will harden into fact. So trust that it will harden into fact. Don't worry about it. If something comes up, nothing serious is going on here go back to your affirmation and persist in it. So that Neville Goddard quote is, an assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. Trust that, it will harden into fact. And this is in any area of life, not just small things like roadkill on the road, but in every area of life. So that's why this stuff is super exciting. If you've been using the law of assumption in your life, please leave a comment below if there is something that you have changed in your reality through using the law of assumption and affirmations. I would love to hear your stories down below. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button. It helps more people to see it. See you later, bye. Here we go. I'm not gonna put that in. I don't like bye-bye. All animals in my reality are self and no. It's like a blob. You can do this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta redo that. Lost my train of thought.